Hey everyone, in the world of cloud computing, here are a few cloud tech news highlights this week. I'm Brad Nelson of Nelson Hilliard, cloud computing recruitment specialist, placing great people in cloud, IoT, fintech and AI. Thanks for all your support on YouTube, Twitter, Instagram and Facebook. It means so much to me and the Nelson Hilliard team. And make sure you click the notification bell when you subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on the latest shows. And check out our cloud tech blogs and be sure to click the link below and subscribe so you get the latest releases. Watch out for the new weekly cloud computing shows with David Linthicum, who is the world's number one cloud industry expert and internationally recognized thought leader. And this week we have a special guest. Ron Batra is back and chatting all things IoT. All of the shows are also on Stitcher and iTunes as podcasts. I've also included a link below. Remember to connect and reach out to me and my team for our latest cloud tech jobs. The social media links are below for LinkedIn, Twitter, Instagram and Facebook. This week, the co-founder of the Chinese tech giant Alibaba, Mr. Jack May, I up Indonesia for internet and e-commerce training. Indonesia's digital economy is projected to hit 130 billion US dollars by 2020, contributing 11% to its gross domestic product, according to an estimate from the Communications and Information Ministry. Mr. May told reporters that he wanted to set up a Jack May Institute to train Indonesians on e-commerce and the internet, though he did not say when it would be launched. While acknowledging that nothing concrete has been tabled, Mr. May spoke of training 1,000 tech leaders in Indonesia each year for at least 10 years. Indonesia is a key market for Alibaba, whose cloud computing arm Alibaba Cloud launched a data center in the country in March. This week, Australia's Crime Stoppers is to digitize crime reporting through the cloud. Australia's criminal information reporting service, Crime Stoppers, has announced it will be implementing a new online reporting tool, extending to members of the public additional ways to report crimes. The organisation has appointed the Citadel Group to build out its safety management platform, Keep Us Safe, the Responder, specifically around the needs of Crime Stoppers and its network. Crime Stoppers gathers information supplied by the community to assist police agencies with solving and preventing crime. Crime Stoppers director Peter Price said that in the last two years we've seen an increase in cyber crime and victim reporting from the general public. In New South Wales alone, 30% of all Crime Stoppers reports received are now online. This week, the Pentagon discloses that card breach with around 30,000 Department of Defense civilian and military personnel are believed to be affected. Pentagon officials said that the Department of Defense had suffered a security breach thanks to a third-party contractor. An investigation is still underway, so the exact details haven't been made public, but according to an Associated Press report, a DOD official said that roughly 30,000 DOD military and civilian personnel are believed to be affected. This number is expected to grow as the Pentagon's investigation continues. The Pentagon said attackers made off with both payment card data and personal information. The DOD did not reveal the contractor's name to the AP reporters, citing the ongoing investigation. This week sees researchers say that over 9 million rebranded IP cameras and DVRs sold by over 100 companies can easily be hacked. All vulnerable devices have been manufactured by Hangzhou Jingmai Technology Co Limited, a Chinese company based in the city of Hangzhou, but end users won't be able to tell they're using a hackable device because the company doesn't sell any products with its name on them, but ships all equipment as white label products on which other companies put their logo on top. Researchers argue the vulnerabilities they've found can easily be used by voyeurs to take over camera feeds and watch victims in their own homes. In some cases, many cameras have a two-way audio intercom, so it's even possible that a hacker may be able to interact with the victim as well. I'm Brad Nelson, and thanks for watching this week's Cloud Tech News. Remember to like, subscribe, comment, and share this video with your friends and with your colleagues. You can also connect with me on LinkedIn. Find us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And check out the latest shows with David Linthicum and the podcast in the link in the description box below. Until next week, be good, be safe, and keep our clouds secure.